Live from New York Giants training camp, it's LeVac and Goss on 104.5 The Team. We're live at Giants camp, and uh, we're hanging out with our friend Byron Hunt. Of course, Byron Hunt, uh, former Giants uh, Super Bowl champion and uh, member of, of SMU glory days. Uh, you, you said, and, and look, you know, of course we are an ESPN station. Uh, but, you know, hey, we'll admit when we're wrong and, and when the mothership screws up. Not us. We never admit when we're wrong. We're not, no. <laughs> well, we're also never wrong. So. Right, which is, you know, we thought we were once, but we were only mistaken. <laughs> um, so what you, you said that the, the, their account of, of, of the Pony Express days is wrong. Yes, even though I never watched the 30 for 30. Okay. All right, I've heard about it. Okay. Okay. And I don't know. I mean, is it, is it okay to comment on things that you yeah. didn't watch that you just heard well, about? I mean, we do have to throw that disclaimer out I mean, I do that there. all the time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just asking you well, guys. <laughs> the disclaimer's out there. You know, like, look, right. you know, I, I didn't watch it, but a reliable right. source told you. and blah, So now, if you're wrong, they will jump all over you on Twitter. Just be ready. Well, <laughs> okay, I, I, well, I'm not on Twitter, but I guess they'll tweet you guys. <laughs> yeah, but that'll happen. He, here's the problem that I have, is that all the other 200 or so guys... We're very upset. We're thinking about putting together a class action suit against SMU because we want our cut. We never got any money. <laughs> like they never interviewed us. If they would interview me and about 200 guys, we'd all have said, what, are you kidding me? We never got any money. I remember me and the two other guys, <laughs> uh, two guys that were my uh, sweet mates. Man, we put five quarts of oil. In the car, I said oil or oil. Where we in Texas, I said oil. Put five <laughs> quarts okay. to go 150 miles home in a Chevrolet 1968 Chevy. Now, you think we were getting any money? <laughs> Are you kidding me? So you're saying that the, 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 the belief that every single player on that team was on the take is completely false. Completely? Are okay. you kidding me? But but Dickerson was getting paid, right? I mean, uh, I don't know if he was or not. He never said he did on 30 for 30, in my yeah, understanding. And yeah. I know Eric. I spoke to him personally about it. And Eric would never say anything like that anyway. Just like Craig James would never say right, anything. Right. They found they f the people that said things, um, a lot of coaches, like there was a couple of coaches that said things. A lot of coaches who I know very well were very upset that the one in uh, coach, um, Steve Endicott, he spoke a lot about what was going on and things like that. And the coaches were very upset about it because they were saying, hey, he might have been doing all this on his own, all the, all the stuff on his own. And that was the thing is that this was going on, or, and if it was going on, which I have no reason to believe that it wasn't going on, right. but it wasn't hitting all of us. Right. Hey, we worked our butts off. I'm telling you, and I, people ask me, like, what's, what's the biggest thing about it? I said, we worked our butts off. And let me tell you, when I, when, if you go through that roster and you look at all the guys, including Mitch Willis, who played for the Raiders back in the day, six foot eight, 200, 300-pound uh, defensive end, hey, he played his butt off, right, right, right. to get to the NFL. Right? Also, another guy named uh, Lee Spivey, who was an offensive lineman for the Raiders. I think you got drafted in the uh, back then, but, but, but back in the day, right? But I'm saying back then when you were a Raider, you were, everybody thought you were dirty anyway. So I don't know if you're helping yeah. the case by having no. all these Raiders. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. But hey, did Al pay, did Al Davis pay guys money? Oh yeah, I guess I guess in the NFL everybody gets paid, but some people get paid more than others. But the point I'm trying to make is is that we not everybody was getting cash. But then and I know I, I never spoke to anybody that said, "Hey, Byron." Did you get your check this week? <laughs> really? So then your teammates, like, you're not in the locker room, because I know whether it be high school, college, pros, right. you're in the locker room with your buddies, you're talking about going out to a party, this girl looks good, what's right. going on in your personal life? A teammate never said to you, hey, man, did you get your 100 bucks? No! You're getting paid. You hear so-and-so's getting paid. Anything like that. Man, let me tell you. I, I can tell you, my first thing is I worked my butt off to save $3,000 so I would be able to last, so it would be able to last me through, through the entire uh, um a uh, year at SMU, right? There was nothing else coming in. That was my hard work. Yes, SMU did one thing. They helped me to get a summer job so I could make some money, which is cool. I didn't have a problem with that. I mean, but I'm saying that so many guys and so many guys that played in the pros, John Simmons, third-round pick for the Cincinnati Bengals, All-American when he, I came out in 1981, right? He didn't get any money, <laughs> right? I didn't get any money. And I'm still, I'm still looking for that cash. That's what I'm talking about. We're upset. 
So all right, well let's let's uh, let's let's play devil's advocate. They okay. said thirteen players got uh, approximately sixty one thousand dollars. So anywhere from fifty to seven hundred and twenty five bucks a month, depending upon how valuable you were. Wow. I mean, inflation and everything else. Now is that on the internet? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. yeah. Um, Do you see Byron Hunter? <laughs> <laughs> what about Mitch Willis? No, I mean <laughs> Lee Spivey. They, they, but it's so funny because like, you, you can put in if you put in John S- Simmons. If you put an SMU death penalty, the number one question is how much did SMU play the, pay the players? All right, that's the number one question that pops up. Really? Yeah. Yep. Wow. So thirteen players, and again, inflation seven twenty five a month. I mean, you they probably owe you a good a good twelve grand a month, right? A now. lot. Yes. You <laughs> see Byron's face react to that? Like, oh no, he's doing the math in his head. Like, come on, guys. I'm on seven hundred twenty five, dude. That was. I'll, I take, I'll take that now. I could have had a lot of dates. <laughs> <laughs> you you kidding me? You, you could have rented a nice car and driven home. I know, I know. That was a rule of thumb. It's like, hey, Byron, you got a date? No, <laughs> a date. That's cost money to have a date. But this is what the greatest thing about going to college at SMU is that you could meet girls that would take you out because they were all loaded. <laughs> right? So if you got, so it was like, the, it, was, it was all like a, hey, you know, hey, how you doing? I'm Byron, you know, I play for the, you know, play for the, I say, I'm getting ready to say I play for the NFL. I play for SMU football team. You have any money to take me out with? And if she said yes, <laughs> that's the girl you went out with. Dude, oh, you I, looked, thought, I thought you were saying that she asked you, like, hey, man, you go to SMU. I know you're getting banked, so. No. <laughs> no, no. She picks me up in a Jag or a Mercedes or whatever else. She takes me out. She drives me back home or whatever. Everything was cool. I think we that's, need to go to SMU. Yeah, right? <laughs> that's the Master's way, degree. That's the way it worked at SMU. You got to love it. Wow. Byron Hunt with us. We're at Giants Camp, back and guys. Um, just making it clear. That's making it. Clear. I'm being it, real, man. I'm telling no you, there's a lot of guys. If there, if there was only there's 13 guys out of me, how many guys come in? You're talking about a Ron Meyer came in in 1970, I think, 78. And was out of there, I guess, in 83. And they got 13 guys. I, got, I mean, I don't know. I don't know who the 13 guys were. I have no idea. I, I never met them. Well, because they, because you couldn't afford to hang out with them. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, it, it had to be one, you know, like back in the day, it said, like, uh, especially like back in the old days, like uh, in the mafia days, it was like a no show job. These had to be guys that didn't have to show up right. to play, right. to practice anything. These are no show players. Right. Right. I'm, wow. This is interesting. <laughs> it's, it's so you, we, we uh, you know, Brian, we talk to you at least once a week during the NFL season. We got to drive all the way to uh, East Rutherford right. to find out about the SMU days. <laughs> Maybe they just showed up on Saturday to game. You know. Hey, that's what it is. hey where's my check? I'm out of here. We're live. We're live from Giants Camp. Byron Hunt hanging out with us, Lavac and guys.